Hey everybody, Philly Prairie Palms update. Lots changed in the last month. A um, little bit good, mostly bad. So uh, I'll just get to it. Um, the office, uh, more people came back after COVID and <laughs> obviously I had way too many palms here and people complained and facilities was like, nope, that's all gotta go. So they were allowing me to keep a couple in my office. So um, I did uh, a couple of the fan uh, palms and stuff like that. And uh, um, that was it um, until last week when I started to get a lot of uh, uh, what looks like probably some humidity issues and also root rot um, with my uh, bottle palm high FRB genicolis, which I'm going to give you a quick update here, but it's looking the worst it's ever been. And I got to pull it out of its pot and probably do some root inspection, hydrogen peroxide, cutting it, the whole deal, disinfecting the goddamn pot. The I just... I'm like beside myself with uh, with regret at letting it get that bad because I didn't uh, change out the uh, the uh, cash tray and uh, it was probably sitting in some water when it came in for probably about a week and I was just neglectful about that part. I the, the cash tray that I was using wasn't very big and uh, it uh, it did fit the the um, container exactly and and I wasn't. Uh, aware that, you know, there was a lot of water sitting in the bottom there. So it's, it's, uh, I got to see if I can still save it, but I'm going to show you right now how, how awful it looks. And then I'll give you an update on the palms, uh, at, uh, at home, uh, later tonight. Uh, everything else got moved back home and I got some issues with the ones that are at home, but nothing like the one with this bottle. So let's, uh, let's get to that. So, um, <clears throat> quick update on, on, uh, that Trinex Radiata Florida Thatch Palm. No problems with this guy. Bulletproof. Shooting the spear out really good. Um, the other one here left in my office is uh, Bismarck and Obelis, um, and uh, it's been doing really, really good actually under this light that I found here um, in the building. Uh, I've just been using that, but um, I uh, I was trying to weigh this light down because I didn't want it to fall in and damage the plant. And the process of doing that, I use <laughs> mic stand. Not like this one, but kind of, kind of like this one. And it was really heavy, and I used it to weigh it down. And the whole mic stand fell into the into the container and uh, and um, opened up this uh, this spear a little bit. So I hope it's still okay. I'm sure it is. Um, I mean, I've I've been manually opening spears on my uh, pine palms, um, you know, like uh, Ricky does, and a couple other people, like Southern Ontario palms, and. They grab them and just like kind of like wrench them and give them a shake and i'm doing that too and opening them up so i'm sure this guy is okay he's gonna be nice there's another little one coming there so i wasn't too worried i was worried more worried about just like damaging the foliage so that's looking good um another quick one before i get to the bottle um my uh turn off the uh, grow lights i got going here for this guy he's also in rehab this washingtonia filibusta um the uh there was a two in the pot and i lost one um about a month ago uh all of the fans uh sucked together the uh the trunk felt soft and i was pliable and i was able to move it so that was it i, I lost it it was a in a battle between these two this one was always the bigger one so that's okay um, I just hope that this, this guy's going to be okay. The other thing is he's, he's got a crazy wicked bend to him, um, which I am like trying to like a bend force bend back with like objects that are like not meant for that, obviously. Um, but, um, I'll see if that, that kind of works. Maybe I'm going to put the grow lights over here. So it wants to like grow in this direction and again, get rid of this bend if I can. Um, but other than that, he's okay. Uh, mites had, had some mites on him. Um, he's been treating for that, but, uh, uh, it wasn't uh, too severe. It seemed like it was only on one frond. They hadn't jumped yet, but of course you got to treat the entire palm. You can't just assume it's in one spot because it's assuming it's wrong. It's there. They're everywhere. Uh, even if it's like a mic microscopic one. So, uh, but yeah, just been treating this whole thing and uh, yeah, looking okay. Um, yeah, not too bad. Actually, I don't know if you can see evidence of mites in here. Can I get in there right there? almost so just using uh, soap and water for now I have my decided home that I've been treating with uh, you know my foxtail and 
my adenidia christmas palm and stuff you know, and i had mite metal so i've been treating that with a miticide so i might bring it to the office give this one a squirt but honestly it's open water for this little guy has been working just fine ricky watching your update video so the big problem overall And the worst frond is the, other than the one that just opened, which is still perfect, but obviously the rot's gonna spread to that one. This middle one that just kind of like opened, uh, I don't know, probably about two months ago, was perfect um, uh, about a week and a half ago. And then uh, what happens is it, all this stuff, uh develops and it's soft when it comes like this is like this is pliable this isn't you know like i i, I this isn't it obviously dries and eventually cracks and breaks like up here you know like this is like here but it's rotting here and it's soft and black and necrotic so a week of being you know neglectful um and having it sit in water i mean they, they, they take a ton of water anyways this thing took a ton of water in the summer what the hell I don't know. I, I'm, I don't know what to do, honestly. I mean, I, I don't know what to do. I got to pull it out and take a look at the roots and cut off the roots and disinfect the pot and put you new know, cocoa coir and bark chunks. That's what I got to do to try and save it. But I mean, other than that, like, it's it's uh, sad days. Sad, sad days. I'll do an update video of the palms at home. None of the other ones have, have root rot. They're all doing good. The uh, Just some mite battles. Mite battle with my queen palm and might battle with the Christmas and might battle with the foxtail, but they've all been very small battles. So I'm, I won them all so far. I got to continue them because they never end. They're going to continue until I get these guys out again in, in uh, May until next May. So I just, it's uh, it's almost like a, a battle that just continues. But if you look at, at them uh, every day and check the tops and undersides and stuff, you can keep the, uh, the infestation small and manageable. Um, that's a tip. Other than that, guys, we'll do another update video on the ones at home, but I just wanted to show you the, uh, um, um, tragic, tragic state of this, uh, Pinophorbia legenicalis spottle palm. I don't know if it's past the point of saving, um, and, uh, I don't know if I should, uh, like, I know palms, uh, recycle nutrients, um, from dying fronds. So, I mean, if I was to cut off all of these dying fronds, then I would be removing a meal from this, you know, palm and leaving just this one. Why would I want to do that? So I'll probably obviously leave them all on. I just want the rot to stop and, uh, hopefully I can halt it in its tracks and I haven't lost the entire palm because, um, it was my favorite and it's always my favorite. It doesn't just cause it's sick doesn't mean it's not my favorite, but anyways, we'll, uh, do a, uh, one from home next. All right, guys, fill with prairie palms. Peace out.